Yo, yo, we are back in our VFX. And in today's video, I'll be going through the whole process on how to do VFX or your music reel. Even though VFX on music video is getting popular day by day, and you can make a lot of money like doing VFX for like different rappers and directors. I also do VFX for some of my guys that I'm locked in with, and it helps me make money as I enjoy editing. So it's really cool. I'm gonna show you the whole process on this video right here. So, firstly, to start off, to do vfx we need a video that is sequenced so you can see in my timeline this is a sequenced video right here if you don't already know you can like sequence video on davinci or the premiere pro and just export it and just import it into your like this after effects right here but most of the directors and artists give the mp4 which is already sequenced so all you gotta do is just drag it into after effects now the first thing we're gonna do before we start doing the actual vfx effects it's just like right click on this mp4 right here go which with the scene edit detection and make sure it is on split layer it's scene edit and then hit ok so it will start analyzing it and add cuts where the cuts are so it will make sense in a bit but this for but this option is pretty much available after 2023 version of after effects i guess so make sure you are up to date to use this but after this you can see before going further into the video i just have to let you guys know about the all-in-one bundle and the course that you get with it that will show you how to edit like a pro beginner to advanced step by step plus 160 drag and drop presets from our best selling packs and that's just a start as i said you are getting 160 plus presets straight from a best seller like essential fx v1 and v2 grunge fx bundle opium fx and my signature 3d title presets then you will also get six complete vfx project files plus the 3d title project file and the presets a 3d model pack with 40 plus high quality models and lastly my lot pack but the biggest and exclusive thing yet the ultimate music video vfx course over one and a half hour of editing a full music video in real time from basics of after effects to the advanced effect to working with full 3d inside a itself no gatekeeping at all and i'll show you every step so if you want to check it out the link will be in the description description but let's just get back into the video if i play through it exactly added like curves on the curves so we can add like vfx on top now and do your thing in it of course it is directed by my guy spooky so big shout out to him as well but now what we gonna do is start pre-comping and like differentiate the section so i'm gonna just like pre-comp the intro firstly so i'm gonna pre-comp all of this intro so we like separate those out and from here it will actually start the video so i'm gonna just like pre-comp all of this into one pre-comp so we have everything organized you can make more parts but the video ain't too long i'm doing like 30 seconds to show y'all firstly i'm really lazy to do intro so i always do it at the last so i'm gonna start with the first first the first scene so this is the first shot right here so i'm gonna pre comp this and I'm gonna go into the pre comp, and now we can start adding effects into this. If you don't already know how to do VFX, there's around 200 tutorials on my YouTube channel alone about like music video VFX and stuff. So you can go ahead all in After Effects and go ahead and pick one effect that you like and just like create it on your own music video, or you can just easily use one of my preset pack, which I'm gonna do right here. So, right here, I hear like a 808 hit and so I'm gonna uh, like cut this and pre-comp this right here and in this pre-comp I'm gonna use my essential fx v2 to add some effects from here so firstly I'm gonna use fast to slow-mo to add some slow-mo right there that's a real clean slow-mo which I really love and he's talking about guns so I'm gonna pre-comp it again and in the top I'm gonna make a solid layer solid right here and i'ma use one of these bonuses from the g bonus i'ma use the 3d glock spinning animation and now if i play through you can see we have a 3d glock animation right here looks real clean like it is pre-done for y'all so that's why i love like essential fx i'll link it in the description if you haven't already downloaded it is really dope it basically only requires sapphire but if you want to use the bonus fx it will require more plugin but bonus fx are 
day just for the pro editors which all of those 40 plus fx are actually coated so i'll link it in the description as i said now what i'm gonna do is turn on the motion blur to add some motion blur in here and now you can go to group one create a group node right here and you can just position it wherever you like so i'd like to position it somewhere around here like this so it at this side right here and you can always go to the lighting and play around with the lighting and shit that's not the main topic right here but i'll just play around something right there and i'm also add like a camera lens blur into my background as it comes and then i like to add another adjustment layer and in this adjustment layer i'm gonna add a preset from my essential fx v1 if you don't know i have two versions of essential fx and transition one the v1 which is which was released like uh, around like seven months ago and the v2 which is recently dropped like a month ago both of them is a file combination for any type of music video so i'll link both of those down below like comes with different unique fx in itself so so combined together you'll get around like 80 plus presets and all of them are literally goaded so yeah i'll link that in the description as well but from here i'm gonna use a uh, zoom in and out right here and just line up the keyframes so you can see we have a clean zoom right here just like line i line these up and all you gotta do is just move this anchor point to the glock as it goes maybe i'm gonna remove this like the other keyframe and also let's just lower down the size of the glock so when it don't zoom in it is like pretty small yeah something clean right there as you can see that looks super clean uh i'm gonna add an optical glow on my glock just to like pop it up a little bit more on some part right there combine it with the s curve and yeah that looks super hard now lastly i'm gonna add a adjustment layer and use a horizontal wiggle transition from my essential fx v2 to add a shake right when the glock comes in so i'm like here so we have a real clean shake right there so yeah repeating this process i'm gonna go through all of these footage and add uh, add some vfx and meet y'all guys now gone through this whole composition and added the vfx for this vfx literally what i did is the same process in the beginning in some i added some 3d using element 3d but for other i literally just used my presets fakes and everything and lastly our result is looking something like this right here so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you learned something new hit the like button and also if you want in-depth course on how to add vfx using after fx to your music video i'll link the all-in-one button bundle down it comes with all of my pack and a one hour 30 minute course going through everything about after effects beginner to advance so make sure to grab it in the description but i'ma see you on the next one peace